here doing the final pass on the beans and I thought I'd show what it looks like at least from the cab there's about 35 acres here south of the creek and I've got a good stand although I have quite a few escapees and weeds in the row and once you get up close you can see primarily pigweed and uh, lamb's quarter there's a little bit of foxtail but let's go out and look turn that down engine's pretty noisy get out here in the row I mean these all look I got a little bit of a bug coming a little bit hopefully it didn't get too bad it doesn't seem too bad now maybe a percent or so of the leaves but it could be early um, I'm not really getting any any weeds with this pass As you can see here's a pig weed that's gonna make it through anything bigger that's in the row than the plant you know it's it's gonna out shine um, so over here as I go a couple rows over this is what it looks like I, I made this pass the previous pass about uh, four days ago and it hasn't rained since it's starting to sprinkle right now but you can see various weeds that are in the row there's nothing I can do about it. even these little ones right here next to the row I can't throw enough dirt to cover them really maybe a few I might I might do a little bit here but I think what's gonna happen these soybeans are so big they'll just canopy oh, deer flies are out pretty good here they're getting me um, got a big welt on my arm from one. So I, it's kind of one of these it looks good now but I know once the weeds take over um, you know, they get above the canopy. There's nothing I can do about it at this point. You know, I'll just combine the beans. I'm just happy the beans came up. It was such a wet spring. Um, we were able to get it in in a window. There's where you run over beans. They'll bounce back. The tractor. I think I'm going to... I'm going to call that good. Just because I don't think I'm really gaining anything by going over the field here. Famous last words. But the weeds that are out there are, I can't get. So I'm just burning up diesel and putting hours in the tractor and tiring myself out. The auto steer is great. You know, I can go five, five and a half miles an hour right up next to the road and, and not get too wiped out. By a lot at the end of a long day, doing a lot of acres. I think I cover eight or nine acres an hour. But, um, yeah, you can see where the tracks here, that's where the tine, I mean, a pass with the tine weeder pre emergence. And so those tire tracks were enough to suppress any beans coming up. I gotta make sure I, I don't do that next year. This is our best ground, or one of our best grounds soil is relatively compaction free but uh, in any event thanks for watching I know some of my videos are a little uh, uh, so, so express yourself a little more I'm like well I don't know what to say I'm not really sure who's watching these things but, uh, the peas are probably another week or so out and then the oats not far behind and the kerns after that but thanks for watching Catch you in the next one. Bye.